Hey guys, it's Margaret and Randy, and we are here for our first <clears throat> ever merch talk. Um, I've done some merch talk videos with Joe Clay, and I've done some with Joe and Mike, and so Randy and I thought we would also start doing some together because I am a, as I said, be, whatever's below a novice is what I am as far as design skills. Uh, I talked to Glenn Zubia, who Hustler Hacks, and Yong about my designing and I don't use Illustrator. I've used PicMonkey and I've used some apps. And so Randy is, Randy and I rather, are going to do some base level, like let's, what does this mean? Because I've had so many people, and I'm talking a lot now, but Randy's going to jump in soon. I promise. I've had so many people who are like me. They don't know about design. They don't know about, you know, creating shirts. They don't know about Illustrator. And so I thought this was perfect because I am also on that level. And so Randy, who's zoning out, oh, no. <laughs> can help out, you know, and, and just help with these questions. So we're doing this one recorded. I'm hoping in the future that he and I can coordinate a time that we can go live because then we can answer questions, um, or rather Randy can answer questions <laughs> about, because today I was doing a show live and I had a lot of questions about merch. I just, I, I did the best my, uh, that I could to answer. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. And just, if he yawns, I'm just saying. No worries. It's late. Um, and this is apple juice, by the way. And he's drinking his fresh squeezed apple juice. Yeah, no, as an apple, yeah, apple juice. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. So, I, I literally have three questions, but I have a feeling it's going to take some time. Okay, so Randy, why don't you give them a little background about where you're coming from with the graphic design and all that kind of stuff, your background. Well, I guess uh, in a past life, uh, I was a graphic designer. and Now I'm an application developer, so I do the full stack, uh, not the full Monty. The full stack. I keep my clothes on when I do that, <laughs> or I'll lose my job, and then I won't be doing anything with the full stack. Um, but then I, I also deal with uh, user experience and user interface design. Um, so uh, lately, I've been finding myself doing a lot of vector graphics for icons for particular applications that we're doing now. But in the past, yeah, I've been a graphic designer, print designer, and web application develop designer as well. All right. Yeah. So and when I tell people, oh, yeah, my husband's a graphic designer, they're like, awesome. So you've got like a built in, but he's so busy yeah. with work. I get nothing out of no. him. He might like text me an idea. And I'm like, awesome, make it. He's got no time. I don't have time. So. <laughs> but then again, I mean, some things, you know, if there's specific graphics or if there's an idea and I can you know, start working on it and making it happen. Yeah, yeah. And there have been things that I've sent to him and so I drew like I drew a picture. I'm like, make this, make it make the lines pretty for me. Right. You know, but in later episodes he will show us how we do that. So, but just to start off with, I wanted to go with like what does merch want? I think that's one of the most basic things. Um so I'm gonna scoot just kinda over to the side and and we'll pull Which up way? that way. I'm gonna pull this up this way. <laughs> Right? What is that? Mm -hmm. Waynesboro. Waynesboro. Um, so let's, I'm going to pull up the merch. Here's, here's what merch says, right? Um, so, and to me, from not coming from this background, create your designs according to specifications. Has to be 15 inches wide by 18 inches high. I get that. Okay. I get that. 300 PPI. <laughs> PPI. <-E. laughs> I'll explain what that means. And we know what PP means. I.e. 450. 4,500 by 540, oh gosh, 5,400 pixels. pixels. I don't know what sRGB stands for or less than 25 megabit. Okay, so let's just start with that. <clears throat> what does that mean? So the 300 PPI is uh, pixels per inch or uh, it it's not DPI, uh, but it's PPI. DPI is dots per pit per okay. inch, right? Um your video, your your browser sees it as 72 DPI dots per inch, but since that's a screen, that's a dot um, points or points per inch or pixels per inch. It may, I think I'm not sure which one it is right at the moment, but uh, for print, it would be PPI. Um, but okay. think of it as the same way. Don't get mixed up. And DPI, PPI, think of it as the same thing. Um, 300 D, uh, DPI, PPI. It, it's it's 300 pixels or points um, horizontal per inch as well as down vertical per inch. So that's, that's, okay. 
And now what is this R, this little S, and then RGB? RGB is, uh, uh, I was going to say Roy, Roy G. Bibb. No, it's a red, green, blue, but the S, I'm not really sure what it stands for, but it allows for an alpha channel. Alpha channel. So you can, you will have your red, green, blue, and then you can determine the opacity of your color or your value. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's super, I'm not really Wait, clear. Wait, go back with opacity. <clears throat> so Does that mean how, how, how much you can see through it or not see right. through it? Right, opacity. Okay. And transparency. Like opaque. Opaque. So you'll see some some uh, graphic applications called trans transparency and some opacity, opaque. So they're they're the same thing, but from the opposite direction. So transparency is how much light goes through, and opacity how dark it is. So they're the opposite end. So if you want a hundred percent transparent, that it's see through. If you want a hundred percent opacity, you can't see through. <laughs> Right. Lost. Oh, so, gosh. yeah, so they're the, opposite, they're the opposite ends of the same thing. Okay, but what does that what does that have to do with this SRG? I'm assuming it's super. Okay, all right. And 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 at any time, if you feel like or you know something different than what Randy or I are saying, please leave a comment. Yeah, because, say it. we're we're yeah. not like you know, hey, you know, we're we're running. Can I say Trump University and we're running this class and we're gonna no politic <laughs> Sorry. And it um but we're yeah. saying what it is is word, right? That's that's it. It's written in stone. No, it's not. Because Stone Cold Steve Randy said so. No, he didn't. Oh. So but it, but we're doing our best. We're 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 laying it out as best we know. Okay, so and then less than twenty five megabit MB since we're megabits, right? Yeah, megabits. Yay me. So that means like less than this big. Exactly. Okay. Sorry, I got my face. So like that. two gigabits is a is a movie, right? Okay. All right, and twenty five megabits. Um, how would I re represent that? I'm not really sure how to represent that, but I just know two uh, two gigs is a movie. Okay, and then <clears> so <throat> I listen to Merch Minds podcast with Glenn. I'm gonna make I'm gonna plug them because I love listening to their podcast. They need more. So Glenn Zubia, who's Hustler Hacks on YouTube, and Yong, Retro Aficionado, have a podcast called Merch Minds. And they both really, really feel strongly about using Adobe Illustrator. Um, and I had a chat with them, and I told Yong that I use PicMonkey, and he's like, I never even heard of that. What is that? Um, and he's like, if you're serious about this, Margaret, you really got to get onto Illustrator. You know, so... I wanted to, that one of the first things we're going to talk about is that what, what program should I be using? Um, because Illustrator's pricey. So, oh, right. yeah, <laughs> but it is, but it's also like the gold standard basically. Well, In my opinion or what people are, from what I, from what I am hearing on my end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then, so here it says Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Photoshop and GIMP. And in Merch Minds, they do have... <laughs> Who's the GIMP? I should come in with a, like a leather mask on. <laughs> you oh, call me the GIMP. No. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. This and why, why don't I have a funky name? Like, you got like Hustlers, Hustler, whatever you guys call. Can I be like, what can I... I got to have a cool name. Okay, we'll come up with a cool name for you. We'll have a contest. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. R-A-N-D, Hustler. That's it. No. I'm going to school you mofos in... Vector graphics today. <laughs> Word. To your mother. <laughs> or your, I don't know, whoever. Whoever you want, we're to. We're to your sister-in-law. Okay, Vanilla, Margaret. <laughs> oh, my right, gosh. Let's get going. I'm so glad this is not, we're, I'm hoping to do this live, but thank goodness this is editable. Recorded, yeah. <laughs> okay, so then they have they have put GIMP on here as well. Gimp's okay. been around for quite a long time, okay, like, like almost twenty years. So let's just talk, okay. In, in Merch Minds, they did a, a a podcast about like what is Illustrator for, what is Photoshop for, what are you know what are these different platforms for. So that's a good one. I don't remember what episode it is. Go listen to it because I'm yeah. So anyway, so that that that's my number one question on my list. What does Merch want? Number two, what should what? Okay, let me show you what I use, and then we'll talk about what I should be using. So Randy. I use PicMonkey. Pick yeah. I use PicMonkey. That's and then there's a couple apps I use over and um, Word Swag. So let me scooch over because I'm going to keep knocking myself out of the picture here. So let's say here's the design I made. This is not for real. 
Let's say I'm making this design says Texas Fox. I've knocked it out, transparent canvas. I'm going to save it out. I'm going to show Randy my process because I don't think he's ever actually seen my process. No. So I'm saving it out, Texas, whatever. And But I have to make sure, no, I'm going to save it here, uh, that it's going to fit what Merch wants. Okay, so let me pull up my file here. Here it is. Um, and I have to make sure that it meets my requirements for merch, which is 300 PPI and whatever. So what I do, and I've done a video about this, about how I change it. I adjust, I pull it up in preview. I adjust the size. He's probably going to be rolling in his seat mm -hmm. about what I'm doing. And then I come over here, and here's where I change in preview my size. I change it to 4 I'm just saying, this is well, what I do. You're... And then here on my resolution, I change it to 300. So I'm just saying, this is what I've done. And now let's make it big. And now this is what I upload. So tell me, what's the problem with this? Because I'm doing pretty well on merch, I feel. I'm not making the thousands. All right. So what, I mean, in my view, what you're doing wrong. And, and you know, if, if you guys have a better answer, then great. You know, say so. Um, so you're changing the size and adjusting the DPI. So you're allowing the application to, to interpret the pixels. So you're going to have a blurred edge. It's going to, it's going to do what it thinks and you want it. You want to do what you want. Um, so what I would have done is changed the 72 DPI to 300 DPI, then it would reduce the number of your, I guess the size, your viewing size mm -hmm. of the uh, of the graphic. And then so that way you can see the true um, edge uh, of the edges of the wrap, the outside of that graphic. Isn't that what I did with that? No, you changed the, uh, changed 72 to 300. So 72 is what your screen is gonna see, right? Right. 300 what you, is what you wanna print out. So right. if you've noticed, you know, Give this a try is that you print out a graphic, let's say a circle. A circle is a perfect um, representation of this. Is that print out a circle at 72 dpi, right? And mm -hmm. then you print it out at 300 dpi and see what the difference is. Well, make a circle. I'm going to do it. Oh, I, so, you know what? Because then it, it all depends. Is it going to change the height? It's going to. All right, here's a circle. Right, right. I'm, I, let's just try it. That's what we're here for, right? I want to know. <clears throat> So I'm just going to save it out as one. Because I, I, I feel like, you know, I'm doing okay. But, you know, like Yang was saying, he's like, Margaret, if you want to be serious about this, you've really got to get a better program. Um, so, and I can see what you mean. Like when I'm looking at the edges, it's they're blurred. not they're not super sharp. No. And I see what you mean. Okay, so here it is. Here's my circle. If you're mm -hmm. listening to this, not watching, you can see it later. Circle. The edges look pretty good, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks good now, but when you zoom in. So here I'm going to do, so now I'm going to change it to 300. 300. Okay, 300. Okay. All right, so it looks fine now, but now now show it at 100%. Okay, where is it? Where can so I So zoom that? in to 100%, and that's... So you'll so, notice those yeah. edges, they're anti-alias um, to show a smooth... What does anti-alias mean? Anti-alias is that, oh uh, my gosh, it's... In like ages, so basically, it's uh, it's interpreting. Let's say you have a a dark pixel and next to a light pixel, so it'll take it'll go and grab <coughs> a pixel, so it'll see the differences and it'll try to smooth it out, right? Mm -hmm. And so, in smoothing it out, would be um, oh. you would take a pixel and make it. Where it's kind of like white, part, light yeah, gray, darker part, gray, darker gray. Mm -hmm, dark, yeah, so take a pixel like the one to the right, but like the one to the left or up or down, and then go in between, right? Gotcha, so, gotcha. So you're doing steps, um, but when you zoom out, it looks smooth. When you zoom in, so like on a print, it's going to be a higher, you're going to print at a higher resolution, and so you're going to see um, artifacts or the... Uh, We'll see that. Yeah, it, it won't look as pretty. Let's just put it that so, way. So, okay, because I, you know, I got some graphics from a lady, and that was one of the things that I was telling Randy. And I messaged her, was like, hey, what do I do? Because I got this PNG file from a lady, and 
it was, I said, you know, the edges look, I don't know how to say that. It was like, the edges look kind of like toothy, yeah. you know, and, and not smooth. Like, and I want them to be smooth and professional looking for my shirts. And so this is what it does. Right. And then the PNG is not, um, it's not scalable. So if you made it bigger or you change the resolution, it's going to look terrible. Okay. So let's talk about that real quick because... I know basically is that I need to have a PNG. Let's talk about what a PNG is real quick before we move on because that's a whole nother, I think it like, stands for portable network graphic. I can't remember. Uh, it's been a billion years. Um, so basically like here you see where I, I saved my shirt one PNG. Basically to, in my <clears> brain, <throat> PNG means I got a transparent background. Is that right? Uh, PNG allows for transparent background. Okay. Um, so you have different file types, like a JPEG. JPEG doesn't allow for an alpha channel or opacity or transparency. Okay, so most... I'm going to stop you one second. I'm, you got to break it down. Because, like, JPEG is... I think a lot of people are familiar with what that is. It's like a picture. It's a... Yeah, usually <laughs> but, Jennifer Webb. And those only display at 72 DPI. So if you saved one out at 300 DPI and you showed it in your browser, it would, it would be, like, big... Because okay. it needs to set, it's it will dis display at seventy two dpi. Is this what? Okay, so I, I listened to one with Young and um, Glenn where they were talking about saving out, and they saved out different differently. And Glenn saved his out for web, and you know, and then mm -hmm. Young saved his differently and then resized it after yeah. the fact. So, is that what you mean? Because it'll yeah. save it out really, it'll be really big? Is so, I, I mean, I there's don't even know. two possibilities. One is that it's an um, scalable vector, or SVG, or it's a vector. It's a vector of some sort. It could be an EPS. What, 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 what's a vector? A vector is, it's a mathematical, um, I guess, it describes the shape, right? So you have two points, and you have, you can describe that shape using math on how curved it is, what part of it is more curved than others, uh, if it's a, um, a break or a sharp line. Um, and then so you describe that, that shape with math, and then you can say, okay, hey, uh, I want that whole image to be bigger. So it just adds, like, the magnitude to N to create the larger size. Oh, good golly. But so don't worry about it. It gets, it gets bigger and gets smaller, and it stays sharp as okay. heck. So I have my state of Texas. Let's say it's a vector. Mm -hmm. And if I make it this big, mm -hmm. it, the edges will stay sharp. Damn sharp. And if I decide I want it this big. Like the size of a billboard. You the size know, like of Texas. The size of Texas. It would if stay it's a sharp. vector, it'll stay sharp. So no matter how big or how right. little, if it's a vector, it'll stay sharp. This is why I'm, I'm here as a total beginner because he gets like that. And I... If you're like me and you're hearing him talk like that, you're like, what in the, I don't, I lost me at V. <laughs> it's like a, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can be talking to programmers and stuff and developers and whatnot. Okay. And okay. this is a different field. I mean, as a graphic designer, it's, it's one thing. And then understanding behind the, the scenes, it's another thing too. But, okay. um, and, and they have all those, those file types have purposes. You don't, um, for print, if you can, you want to use scalable vector graphics or high resolution images. Okay. All right. Cool. But you got to understand your output. So, can I turn a vector graphic into the PNG? Because I know the PNG. Yes. I know PNG. Yeah. That's the yes, one that can. I can make the picture with no background. That's right. what I need for my merch file. Yes, you can. You okay. Can. All right. So. I cannot make a vector graphic in PicMonkey. This is what I'm learning. Damn right. Watch your language. Darn right. <laughs> so now I'm now we are on the next question. What so what should I use? So I've been talking to Randy because I listened to Glenn and Young and I want to do um, Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator. And we you, you use Illustrator. Mm -hmm. And when I was a teacher, we could get it for cheap. Not for cheap, but it's, it's pricey. We would buy a whole package. Even as a teacher, I mean, it's 25 I remember yeah. back in the day, it was $25. When they started doing the um, Creative Suite online, it was $25 a month. I mean, 99% <clears throat> of the tools you weren't going to use, except yeah. for that 1%. And it was like just a couple tools in Illustrator or Photoshop. But I mean, yeah. it was just, 
you weren't going to use all of Photoshop and you weren't going to use all of Illustrator. And I think basically for what I need, I just need Illustrator. Mm -hmm. I don't need Photoshop for, for merch. Okay, so I pulled up some some of the sites that I... Let me close out of these things real quick. I'm closing well, out of... Can I, can I say something real quick? Okay. Um, so, I mean, Photoshop is great. And like I said, you know, the different tools are good for different things. So if you're going to do solid graphics or things with minimal color... Yeah, the vector tools are going to be great. Um, vector if, tools on Photoshop? Uh, no, an Illustrator, okay. um, Sketch, or Inkscape, or whatever. Um, and they're, they're great. I mean, and there's some vector features in uh, that you can output in um, Photoshop, too. But I, as I remember a few years back, they were for masking. So then they weren't for drawing. Um, so, and they're, they're fine. But if you're going to do like photograph, photographic looking stuff, um, things that have a higher um, number of colors, then yeah, I mean, Photoshop is great. Okay. And, and so keep keep in mind, you know, different tools do things differently. And, and we can go on forever to figure out, okay, why would you use Photoshop for this? Or why would you use um, a vector graphic for, or a graph vector tools for something else? Um, you can do gradients in in um, a vector. What's a gradient? Gradient, sorry. Gradients are, uh, so you start off with one color and you, let's say black, and you have white on the other. White. Yeah. So black and white. I mean, I know what a gradient, so, I know how I like gradients from, like, but how does that apply to what I'm doing? So let's say you had a, a sphere, a ball, right? And you wanted to make it look three-dimensional. So you have, um, so here's a ball, the outline of a ball, right? And then in the part, and it's right here, you know, a little bit up top left or something like that, it's white. And then it, it does a gradient to dark. Right, right, right. Black or whatever. So, and it has that effect of a, um, showing light and shadow, right? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Here's an example. We have a shirt that Mikey wanted. Mm -hmm. That has a pickle on it, and the pickle has got. It's, it looks like maybe the light's coming from below. Mm -hmm. So the dark, the pickle is darker on top, and then it's lighter on the bottom. Now the pickle image on our shirt, I'm noticing because we ordered it for him. It after a few washes, the pickle is kind of faded. Is that because I didn't use the right program, or is it just because it's a shirt? Faded because you didn't use the right soap. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean like. Did you just? I don't know. I mean, I'm wondering if I had used Illustrator or Photoshop. To I mean, create... you can get you can get those effects on one, on both of them. It's just. I wonder if it would have looked better. No, no, because you're not gonna get. So, like, if I used mm -hmm. a, an actual photograph on a shirt, it's gonna be tough, right? To make it look nice all the time. No, you're gonna look. It's gonna look fine as long as that photo is in 300 DPI. Okay, well maybe I didn't use. That's what I'm saying. Maybe because I did, I dropped it into Pick Monkey, uh -huh. and then I, you know, did my magic right. with what I do. I mean, you it may have been that Pick Monkey may have been representing it as 72 DPI, okay. and then you upscaled it. Yeah, because um, that, that's what I did. I mean, so maybe that that'd be an interesting. If we decide on a program, maybe I recreate the shirt. And order one and see the difference in the photograph, like because it's a photograph pickle. Mm -hmm. It's not like a drawn illustrated pickle. Right. So and we can and then maybe one one episode we can do took that image of the pickle and illustrate it. Okay. Yeah. Damn right. That oh, really, so that reminds that's me. That's like way above my head. Yeah, it's all symbols. Let's Just draw that pickle. Simple. <laughs> okay. Um. And so yeah, like I guess a, a, a rule is. And that, that you learn dealing with Photoshop is that, or any um, bitmap type um, tool set, that bitmap. bitmap is, it's not, it, well, it's not a vector. It's, um, you have information pixel by pixel. Okay. So each pixel has a value, has an opacity, and, and so you deal with it by, you know, each pixel, right? As opposed to a vector where you use math to describe the line, the shape. Okay, so pixel bitmap is dealing with pixel by pixel, each little square. Yes. And 
Vector is dealing with a mathematical equation. Mm -hmm. Learning is hard, y'all. My brain hurts now. We're almost done. We have to be because my brain can't take much more. It's I'm, all good. And I feel like I am a fairly intelligent person, but this is hard for me. So hang in there. We're going to get this. Okay. Next, we're going to learn how to set up a database and oh. server. No, and, we're not. No. No. This is not that kind of show. You need your own channel for Sorry, that wrong, nonsense. Sorry, wrong show. You need your own channel for that kind of gobbledygook. Yeah. So, yeah, graphics are, I mean, it's one thing to have an artistic mindset, um, but understanding how to apply that to right. know which tools to use and what is the output uh, does take, take a little bit of technical um, insight. Yeah. Okay. That's why you're here. Okay, so... I'm going to pull up the three three different programs okay. that are options. Okay, because... And there's more than that. Trust me. There are sure. more you can sh than you can shake a stick at. Okay, I thought you were going to say something else. No. no. You did not. All right, so one is Illustrator. And that's mm -hmm. what my boys have been at saying, Margaret, you need you need Illustrator. Because that's what... Okay, so Glenn and Yong say... And then Mike, who's Treasure Gnome, he does like tutorials with Illustrator. He uses Illustrator. And here, okay, let me give their plug why they say it's so good. One, you can pay monthly. You don't have to buy the whole suite up front like you used to. You can pay it uh, month by month. And you get the cloud services so you can save to the cloud. And whatever updates, you know, let's say Illustrator gets a new update, you get all the updates. Good or bad. Okay. All right, can I say something? Yes, you may. All right, look, you're not going to use all those updates. Trust me, you're going to use three tools. That's. I mean, I'm sorry. I. I mean, maybe I it's the apple tool. juice I'm drinking, but <laughs> look, I mean, I've been doing it for quite a long time, several years, right? So, uh, I mean, even like on Photoshop, oh, geez, I there's there's even like funny videos out there. It's like describing, oh yeah, you're only using ten percent or ten cents worth of. Uh, Photoshop was called, I think the channel is called uh, You Suck at Photoshop. Um, so it describes, you know, how much you actually use by amount of dollars. So chances are you are not going to use 90% of the tools in Illustrator. Okay. Okay. So okay. I, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, I, you know, because I started using Illustrator about 25 years ago. Heck, I always remember using Photoshop before you can even edit the text. So, like, once you edit it, you put text down, that was it. You're screwed. So, you had to make sure you put it on layers, right? So, that's how old I've been using it, um, or long. So, chances are you're not going to use 90% of Illustrator. Okay. All right. But look, they have a free trial. Use the free trial. <laughs> And it's great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there's a lot of tutorials out there, and and I hope that you do use Illustrator more than what I have had. In well, the okay, past. okay. Well, what are the three tools you think that we would use? What are the three main tools that you think? All right. So the Bezier tool, the um, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's a Bezier? Bezier tool or a drawing tool? Sorry. Uh, the drawing tools basically you allow you you are able to mark points on the canvas. Canvas is a screen, so you mark a point and you just based on your next movement describes the the shape of that line. So uh, and a key key press too. So you can say, hey, I I put a point here, and then I point a point there, and then. I can drag and and you know it'd be better to show graphics of this. So it would show the the if I point it, put a point here and a point there, and I can describe by the next movement that I have on my mouse to show how how curved that is. Oh my gosh! Or how Please straight line. You're getting this better because I don't think I would ever use that. That no, base. That's that's the whole thing. That's okay. Okay. That's the main like. Cool. Let me tell you something that Mike did on his sh his channel because he was doing it. He was doing an illustrator. Tell me if this is what you're talking about. So I said to him, draw an antler. No. So he drew the antler. Okay, so there's different tools you could 
there's a drawing tool where you just, you know, freehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 right? And then, bam, you got something. Antler. Right. Okay. Or there is another tool where you put a point, put another point, and you, you drag, and then you describe the shape of that, that curve, and then you go to the next point, and you describe the shape of that point. That, that sounds turn. like we're going to have to, that'll be for another video, because that's too hard for me. I don't even know. I have to see. I'm not even audio. Is that good? I can't know it by we'll you telling happen. me. I know, I know. I have to see it. You got to see it. Okay, so here's what Mike did. Sorry. Yeah. No, no. So he drew the antler, mm -hmm. right, which I thought was cool. And then he was able to, I guess, make it vector. Mm -hmm. But then when I was like, ooh, that antler looks too fat, he was able to skinny it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, copy it and flip it and make it the same. Don't Sounds even. like a Bell Don't even. song. <laughs> flip it. <laughs> flip it. Slap Just... it. Flip it. Rub it down. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, my um, God. So... Is that, that's not what you're talking about. Well, I mean, it, it, it is. It, I mean, that's part, that's one tool. So there's, yeah. Okay, so mm. that's one of the things you think we'll use. Damn right, yes. And I still don't know what it is. And then there's the anchor select tool that you would use to manipulate each node. So each dot, you would call it a node because it's a node, right? This is not making it very, I understood like three words in that sentence. I know manipulate. What what do you a mean? A node is a is a point that has. I guess there would be well, it's a point. Let's just call it a point. But then there's there's weight or there's. Oh god, I'm thinking like three D modeling. I have a feeling. Okay, okay let's just uh, let's just stop there because mm -hmm. I have a feeling this is something that we would. I would. I'm going to need to see because I'm we getting need, frustrated. Yeah, we'll need to go down to some vector tool. Yeah, we'll, and and like they all. Apply. They all work the same. Okay. 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 So let's just stop there because it's getting way above my head, and I, I don't like to feel frustrated. But I'm getting there, and I I, I want to know though. Like I want to know what are the things that I'm going to use. You're taking it way over my head, and I thought I could bring you down to sorry my level, but I can't. No, no. I think you know the best thing is just to uh, bust see up in one of these tools. Okay. Okay. And start doing something. Make something happen. All right, let's 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 bring it back to which one should I use? So Illustrator is one option. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Inkscape, which yes. is another option. Yeah. And GIMP is one that also was mentioned by Merch and some other people. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't recommend GIMP because you no, think it's no. No, I I I see. I haven't used it in like twenty some odd years. Okay. And, and yeah, it was very powerful. Don't get me wrong. It's very powerful, very impressive um, tool set. And, but I can't say, you know, some, from some, not having used it in 25, 20 some odd years. Uh, no, it's, it's great. It does at the time. I mean, it, it does a whole lot and it's free. It's free. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I I would, and and that's something I would need to download to to use. Um, you know, being stuck and using all you know the Adobe products, I'm so my mindset has been stuck on those. And and so when you start using a tool that that's different, it you know change is difficult. Um, and when you need to do work quickly um, at the same level as as uh, previous jobs. It makes it difficult to switch tools, so you just use the stuff that you you're are accustomed you're used to. to. Right, right. right. Um, now you know. In the past twenty years, things have changed, and I mean, looking at their website, that's crazy nice. So okay, so let's make a choice tonight, mm -hmm. and let's take a look at one of these. Should we look at the free download, the free trial from Illustrator, or Inkscape? Do they have a free trial? Now, keep in mind, um, Inkscape is like. Um, what Adobe Illustrator is, and mm -hmm. GIMP is like what Photoshop is. So I'm thinking I want to head more towards an Illustrator thing. Okay. As much as GIMP is, you know, free. Yeah. I I, I have a feeling that I'm I'm from what I'm hearing from different merch things is that I want to go more towards something that's Illustrator based. Open. Oh, Illustrator. So. Not so much Photoshop based. Okay, so vector type. So I mean, yeah, give give Inkscape a try. Okay, let's take a look at Inkscape. I'm looking here, 
And I want, is it free? Yes, yeah, so let's hit the download. Well, is it free? Download. Yeah. Bam. Okay, let's try Inkscape. Now, keep in mind, I haven't used this in like a long time. Last time I remember I had to use the uh, X11. Um, Get the stable oh version for your system. Oh, here. Is, is this supposed to be the Mac? The Mac, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's the Linux. I remember having to use the X11 um, terminal and uh, tool set. Oh, yeah, you can still do here. So this, it, it, on the Mac side, it may require a little bit extra, a couple downloads. Um, so Xquartz is a graphics, I can't remember, a graphics library that runs on X11 um, oh. instead of the... Uh, this may take a bit. It's not. It's gonna take forever to download. Okay, I can cut this. Yeah. So we'll in the next episode, <laughs> we'll talk about what you know. We'll talk about. Let's look at Inkscape. See how that does, and see how it compares. Mm -hmm. I'm really interested in the. So Randy's gonna have to sell me on it, honestly, because no. I as much as I've heard about the Adobe <clears throat> Illustrator, I really liking the sound of the cloud um, storage one and that it seems like it's the standard that everyone's using well, is, is Illustrator. So I guess my, my other? Yeah, of course right. you are. So I mean, if, if, you know, yeah, um, Adobe products, they, Adobe, they give you some file, I guess uh, some storage, right? Some cloud storage. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, that's fine and dandy, but I think that if you were really needing, if it's just file storage that you're hosting these images or, or resources, then yeah, you can use like Google or you can use some other things. That's um, what I've been using my drive. Yeah. I've been using so, and that that's fine. Um, but you really don't. I I don't find that 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 important. I mean, unless okay. you can just keep it on a disk or a, you know, network storage to have it backed up and access it. You know. So we'll, we'll the ne in the next episode we'll talk about Inkscape because we're about halfway done downloading. I have a feeling it's going to take longer than this, but we'll come back. We'll look at Inkscape. We'll decide how easy it is for me to use because ultimately that's what's going to have to happen, yeah. and go from there. So, all right, let me let me make this big real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're getting ready to stop. Okay. All right, so. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching and listening. If we decide to pop this into a podcast format. Yeah. Um, and if you are listening to this, then come back and you can see what we're showing on my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And, yeah. Yeah. If you are interested in more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button down below. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And check out the comment section as well because frequently there's a lot of really good discussion going on and that you can learn from or contribute to. Yeah. Anything Sounds good. you want to say? No. I apologize if it got too technical. Um, oh. Sorry. I know. I, I, mean, I think if we show it, we start working it and showing it, then it yeah. makes more sense. Instead of I think just, so too. I mean, it's hard to describe, okay, what is a node and how do you describe that node and the next line or you know it's just I can't it's too difficult yeah and so we need to have something to show I'm visual I need to see it yeah. so I but I, I appreciate it like I want to know but I think like and this is one of the things that I've heard too is like a lot of people they go and they watch these illustrator videos and this is another reason I wanted to do this with you was that people were saying Margaret you know I'm watching these people say go watch these illustrator tutorials they'll tell you what to do but these people have been doing Illustrator so long that they've forgotten all the baby steps it took to, to know these. This they, they forgot that people don't have the same background knowledge. They don't know what a node is. Right. They don't know what some of these things are. So right. and neither do I because Randy starts talking sometimes and I just get in shutdown mode. Mm -hmm. Like peanuts. The, exactly. The yeah. Or his parents. Like I don't know what you're saying. So I, I was like perfect. Let's do this, because then I will stop you and say, mur, mur. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching or <laughs> listening, you guys. Thank you. And we will be back with another episode and talking more about creating shirts for merch by Amazon. Yeah.
Thanks, Randy. Thank you. All right. <laughs>